let's take a look at this scenario. I want to use the Rabbit Labs EU S3 V4 board, GPIO board, and I want to flash it with WarDriver and get GPS information while using WarDriver. And I'm going to get that from the Rabbit Labs chip right here, the GPS chip. All right, let's go through it. So the first thing I wanna do on my flipper is I have to disable something. I have to disable um, listening. And the reason for that is it has something to do with the video game module. The video game module gets in the way from this GPS chip. With this GPS chip, it'll actually lock your flipper. It'll not won't lock it, but it'll freeze it. So the first thing I want to do is go to settings. Now I'm running Momentum, the latest dev version of Momentum. So I'm going to go to the regular settings, not the Momentum settings, the regular settings. And I scroll down to expansion modules. I go to listen UART right here. You can see there's three options, USART, LPUART, and none. I want it set to none. If it's on anything else, and you plug this chip in, it's gonna freeze the flipper eventually. All right, so it's on none. Now the next thing I wanna do is I, I wanna flash this board. I wanna make sure that it's on the latest release of WarDriver. So I'm gonna plug it in and flashing this board has been made very, very easy for a number of the different firmwares. So I'm gonna go into apps. I'll go to GPIO, ESP, I will scroll down to ESP Flasher and then Quick Flash. We can see here that the Rabbit Labs ESP32 S3 is already in there. All these people are friends and they all get together and make it easier for us to deal with all of their stuff. So I'm gonna choose that and I want War Driver. I choose that and it starts the flash. The bits will start coming down and it doesn't take long at all. Takes just a couple seconds here. Got the cool rabbit labs, the cool rabbit. With War Driver though, we won't see a blinking light, which is unfortunate. I think the blinking light is so cool. And here we go, we're ready to go. Now, anytime I get done flashing a board, I usually reset the entire flipper. And there we go. Now it's time to plug in or screw in our antenna. So I'm gonna do that because I never wanna run the chip. Never want to be gathering data without this antenna. It could really fry the chip. And now I want to put in this cool GPS chip from Rabbit Labs. So cool. But there are two sides. Which side do I use? So there is a 1314 side and a 1516 side. So here's the 1314. And on this side is the 1516. So this has to do with how the flipper or the board interacts with the chip. Whenever I'm using the EU Rabbit Labs S3 V4 flashed with WarDriver, currently I must use the 1516 side. That's kind of default 1516 for this board. Normally default, you would use the 1314 when it's not plugged in to anything but the flipper, you would use the 1314. But in this case, I'm plugging it into this board here, so I want to use the 1516. And so I'll do that right now. Plug it in. Now we'll wait just a second for the GPS to connect. We'll see a little light blink right here, and we know that we're connected to some satellites. I'll get ready by going to Apps, GPIO, ESP, and war driver we can see we're connected to some satellites now so this guy is blinking super cool we're going to start war driver anytime we start it we always see this screen and for a long time i was like this thing is broken but if you just wait a little bit it'll start populating with data there we go so we've got two lights green and blue uh, one of them is for gathering the data the other one is kind of telling you hey here's the data and then you can cycle through all this stuff, all of these data points that it's created. Now you can see there's no GPS information on this screen here. That information will be gathered in a text file after I stop scanning. 
and that text file will be in the SD card of the flipper right here. And I'll show you where that is. So we've gathered enough data here, we'll come out. And now if I want to read this data from my flipper, I'm going to go to apps, down to tools. Then I can scroll to text viewer. I can go to where the data is being held, which is in this case, apps data. We'll go down to war driver. There we are. And we'll go down to the latest entry here. And we can see that all this data is going to be gathered. Now I'm not going to dox myself, but uh, you, you will be able to see if you scroll down the latitude and longitude and all of the information that was gathered. And it's in that text file. You can pull this out, uh, organize it into a CSV file. Uh, you'll notice <laughs> all these little files here. Oh, let's go back real quick. They have a cool little name. Let's take a look. We got WarDriver. Wiggle. Everyone just go take a look at wiggle.com. You'll see uh, what all this information can either be, what all this information can actually be gathered for and deployed. So uh, it, it, wiggle.com is, is amazing. What, what a site, what, what a cool thing. Go check it out. But that's where all this data is held. Now, if I want to go back, I can go back to GPIO. We can see that we're still connected to satellites here. Go to ESP, back to War Driver. Always going to get that. And in a second, we will start gathering some data. Now, you might be asking yourself, what if I uh, want to just use the GPS chip on the board, but not use War Driver? You absolutely can do that. But you have to make one little change. When we're using the board in conjunction, with the chip 1314 side. If we're just going to use the chip by itself, we're not going to use War Driver. We need to switch it to 1314. Now we're on the 1314 side. And if we want, we can just do the GPS. We'll see if this will give us a blinking light, letting us know that we're connected. We can even start the app right away. And let's see if I'm gonna gather any data here. Let's see. Hopefully we do. Hopefully this guy starts blinking soon. Not blinking yet. Oh, there we go. As soon as I got out of the app, all right, let's go back in. And we can see I'm connected to four satellites here. And I can confirm that it is giving you latitude and longitude. And then of course, if we wanna go back and use War Driver. We're gonna take this chip out. We're gonna flip it around. And we can go into War Driver. Apps, GPIO, ESP, War Driver. We're gonna always see that screen. And there we go, we're in War Driver. And you can see it's even picking up data without the GPS being connected. We can wait just a second here. GPS should connect. If it doesn't, oh, there we go. GPS is connected. And there you go. So this is a scenario, right? You're, you want to use this board, the Rabbit Labs S3V4, with WarDriver, gathering GPS information with the Rabbit Labs GPS chip for the Flipper Zero.